everyone. It's Thursday, January 23rd. Tw 32 degrees out, so it feels downright balmy compared to the last few days. It's snowing right now. Last night we were getting kind of more of a rain-snow mix. So I'm kind of glad we got the snow to help cover up the ice. Um, right now I'm heading to the top garage to get our semen tank because our semen salesman bull guy, I don't really know what to call him that doesn't sound completely inappropriate, is <laughs> coming today. All right, he's filling our semen tank with liquid nitrogen right now. Now, what is your official title? Because everything I want to say sounds just really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you want to record what I tell you? <laughs> they call me a reproductive specialist. Oh, see, that sounds much better than like semen salesman, full of bull guy. I don't know. <laughs> what kind of inventory do you have left? Should I check or? I know that no, I need, no, no, um, up there. Up there. might need I'll to stop. check on the jersey, and then I know I'm okay at Holstein right now, but I would like to pick out a sex semen Holstein for next time. Okay. Did you I just have quite a bit of sex, well, I don't I'm not know sure how much, how is, much in is in there. There's two in that one, and five in that one, so you've got seven units of sex. Stand back, that's the liquid nitrogen. <gasps> so foggy. Ghost town. It's ghost town. Okay, so now as far as bulls, you're looking for... A2, A2 for sure. Okay. A2A2, A2A2, two, A2, two, A2, yeah. A2, two, and 511. So what, what kind of bloodline were you looking for? I have no idea. You yeah, recommend what? one? Yeah. That is one that's been sticking pretty, yeah, it's not A2A2, two, A2. okay. I want to go down to one that I've got some experience with, and he's not. And I believe their numbers, it's just if I have experience, I've got more confidence. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can get down here to the G-Stars. That's not down, I mean, that's uh, just down on the list. <laughs> <laughs> now, Robert. What a lame name, Robert. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that should bother me. Have but you it named any of your children Robert? <laughs> no! <laughs> now, he, he's the kind of bull you like. Uh, he's a typey bull, show ring winner. Uh, the milk is lower than I like. Okay. Okay, but he's, he's good on components, so that'll address your butterfat issue. That's pretty good, uh, but he's wonderful. I shouldn't say wonderful, but he's adequate on udders, feet, and legs. So he's going to drop the milk, though? No, he's plus, but he's not high plus. Yeah, not high plus. Okay, so Charlie came, filled up our semen tank with liquid nitrogen, and then I picked out two sex semen bulls, one Jersey, one Holstein. Um, they should be here in about two months next time he comes again. And he gave Jessica a new hat, but she's in the house now, so I stole it. Our next project is we are going to work on putting some chicken wire around our corn crib because we have a very healthy white tail herd that's enjoying themselves on a daily basis. Let's see if I can get a shot of them, if I can turn the camera around.
Morning everyone. I just wanted to come out here this morning and check on the chicken wire that we got hung up last night. We tried to get some video of it, but it was just too dark. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this will kind of help keep the deer from pulling quite so much corn out of the crib. I don't know if you can really see, but I mean, they were pulling cobs out from like a foot in. I mean, they were doing whole cobs too. If you look on the ground here, you know, it's, they're just everywhere. And of course the deer tore the wire down. So the cows are hanging out around here too, but they haven't been able to get the corn out of the crib today either. So hopefully it's a success. Just wanted to go around this morning and check and make sure the deer didn't tear the wire down anywhere. They were pretty upset with us when we hung it up and they were very impatient for us to leave too. When we were up here, the deer were only about 20 yards away, just kind of waiting for us to get out of here so they could get back to their feeder here. But it looks like it's all up. Hopefully now this will prevent the deer from eating quite so much corn. I know it's not going to completely stop them, but it should help slow it down. But I just wanted to double check with that and it looks like it's still good to go. So I hope everyone has a good day. Cows are all out enjoying the warm weather. And we'll see you guys next time. Jason, say please like and subscribe today. <laughs> I don't think he's going to say it. Thank you. Nope. Well, subscribe anyway. Yeah.